Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Walt's How To's and Reviews. Today is part three of me taking one gram of NMN and a half a gram of resveratrol every day for 60 days. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, you know, what I learned, um, what the results were, and all that, and I'll make it short and sweet for you. So the biggest thing is, you know, I learned the whole purpose of me doing this was to try to figure out does this stuff work does it make you age slower or even reduce your age and I realized I did it all wrong because I'm not actually proving anything and none of the evidence I gathered actually yeah proves anything which is a big bummer I was listening to David Sinclair he went on Rogan again and he started talking about this uh, Horvath clock and um, apparently that's the golden standard to see you know what your biological age is and if you can reverse that clock that would be the best hard evidence that you could get for something they're talking about a study where it wasn't these drugs but it took off two years of someone's um, chronological age and it was like this big ordeal so I realized you know when I moving forward when I do these uh, biohacking human experiments on myself I need to really think about the experiment and the end result and like what am I going to gain from it? Are we going to learn anything? Because, yeah, I gathered a bunch of evidence, but truthfully, it's all anecdotal. And even like the blood test results, it doesn't prove anything. So, yeah, I'm a little bummed out about that and realizing I did this all wrong. And the way I need to do it is to take this Horvath clock test before I do the drugs, then take the drugs, and then take it again and see if there was a change. When I did do my research, I could only find one place where I could actually get this test done, and it's 300 bucks, which is a, a ton of money for a test. You know, if I have to get it done twice, that's 600, plus the drugs for 60 days is about 250 bucks. You know, I'm looking at 750 bucks to run a human experiment, where again, I'm not even sure if I'll learn anything. I might just say, ah, oh, nothing changed. And then it's like, well, it either doesn't work or 60 days isn't enough time to really see that change so the so when I was trying to figure out where I could get this uh, Horvath uh, clock test to figure out how old my biological age is the gold standard I could only find two uh, places where I could get it online but this one you know it says that it's based on the epigenetic aging clock by Dr. Steve Horvath's aging clock the gold standard and you can uh, pee in a cup and it costs which is uh, pretty Expensive. This one didn't actually list a price, um, which is weird because they have the shopping cart, but it says inquire, so I'm not sure if it's uh, maybe only available to labs or something, but you know, kind of explains the different ways they can uh, figure it out and how it's based on your DNA. But um, down at the bottom is this, you know, uh, contact form, and uh, if you go to inquire, it's the uh, same, it just takes you there. So I fill this out and hopefully they'll get back to me and hopefully it's a lot cheaper than this $300, but that was the best way I could figure out how to get this test done. If you guys know of something else that I don't, please let me know and uh, yeah, I'd love to get it done for less than 300, but we'll just have to keep researching. Horvath test looks at your DNA, specifically the C, part of it and there's chemical modifications on there that are linear so the idea is you know it moves forward and if you actually saw it go backwards that would be pretty good substantial evidence so let's get to what I did realize by doing this my anecdotal stuff so first off you know I'll show the hair test right now In my opinion doesn't prove anything my hair looks the same I think it looks just as gray as it did before. I don't. I would say it didn't get any grayer, but you know it was 60 days, so you're not going to notice that. That was a bummer. Um, the uh, the uh, anecdotal stuff with how I felt, I definitely felt like I had more energy, and since I stopped taking the drugs, I definitely feel like I have less energy. It's mainly that end of the day pep in your step just kind of was reduced and not there as much. But after two three weeks of taking this, man, I really felt something. Again, that could be complete placebo, but for me, even if I'm tricking myself with placebo, it's still kind of worth it. Like I don't care if it's a sugar pill or whatever. If I can have that energy, it's great. What I'm really curious with the audience and stuff, is there anybody experimenting with this stuff that's older, please comment, because I feel like the way I understand it is you have high NAD levels when you're young, low NAD levels when you're old. You know, I'm 33, I just turned 33 September 3rd, and you know, when so I should have high NAD levels, but if you're like 60, 70, 80, you should have very low NAD levels. So these drugs should have a bigger impact on how you feel. And I'm really curious if there's anybody out there that is that age that is taking this how you feel. So please let me know. Um, but I did feel great. I did feel a boost of energy and um, I'm cycling off now so I can reset the test. And you know, I'm running an experiment on myself. This stuff, you know, isn't very uh, 
known about. So I, if there is any health risk that I didn't see that didn't show up, you know, I just it's a little scary taking it. I'm still young. I shouldn't be worried, but definitely come back to this later in my life and I'll cycle on and off and run different experiments. OK, so the blood test results. The kind of bad part is not much really changed. Um, there was three big things that changed and not even that much, but my liver enzymes in the first one were high. They went back down to pretty much normal levels. Whew, that's a relief. Did it have anything to do with the drugs? Nobody knows. Again, it was just kind of a bummer. Like I didn't really prove or show anything. What was nice is nothing went out of whack. There was no alarming numbers. Everything pretty much stayed the same except for my liver enzymes and then the creatine part that is something with your kidneys that actually increased a little bit which is kind of scary and it was already high so i don't know if that had anything to do with it or just something going on with my body my doctor's like oh you don't need to worry about it i'm just glad the liver enzymes are back so no big deal like i guess but again it was kind of a bummer just seeing yeah i got all these like numbers and stuff but it didn't really show anything pretty much everything stayed right where they're supposed to be and not a significant enough change to say like hey this did anything other than those three things and yeah so I'll show that on the screen as well. So in conclusion, you know, um, I'm happy that I did this. I just kind of feel bad for you guys that, you know, I'm trying to run an experiment and figure out does this stuff make a difference? And I almost feel like I failed. Like I can't really say it did or didn't other than how I felt. And I know placebo effect is a very real thing. So that should be thrown out of the window of how I actually felt, you know? So I do want to keep pursuing it. I'm going, I'm uh, making another, you know, I'm doing a bet with my buddy, this health thing and making another video where it's going to take me at least another 60 days to get through that cycle off this refresh. Then I want to take the test. If you guys, again, can find it cheaper for me than that 300 bucks or another way of doing it, please let me know because this is a lot of money for, you know, I'm not, I don't get paid to run human experiments on myself and, but I am very interested and just have that mind where I'm, I'm really curious. I want to know. So it's going to cost me 750 bucks in another 60 days. I don't need to make a pre video where I take the test. It's not going to really show anything. So you know, probably four to six months, I'll post another video showing, hey, here is the Horvath test before, 60 days of the drugs, and then after. I did learn, you know, I do need to be taking this stuff with uh, with yogurt, um, so I'll do that next time just to make sure, you know, I got everything dialed in and right, and, um, and then I can post, you know, after 60 days, here's what it is, and if the clock goes back, that'll be huge. If not, kind of be in the same spot, but... Yeah, the biggest thing I'm saying I learned when I do these videos and make human experiment tests in the future, I'm gonna take more time, this is the first time I've done it, to be really methodical and really think about the end result and what am I gonna be showing or not showing, and if it really isn't gonna show anything, I need to figure out something else or pick something else because you know I really wanna kinda biohack and figure out you know little things because the human body is incredibly complicated and intense and just wanna learn that. So. Thanks again for watching everybody and um, stay tuned, hopefully four to six months, maybe a little longer. I'm gonna retry this with the Horvath test and that's the only thing I'm gonna look at. So that should only be you know, a two, three minute video and we'll see if anything changes. All right, thanks for watching, see you next time. So here's all my uh, results before and after and like I said, only three really made a difference and everything else pretty much stayed in line. Um, this is a little bit better view because it tells you where it's supposed to be. This liver enzyme is supposed to be under 50 and it was at 108 the first time. It's down to 54 now so just barely high but uh, my doc said that's pretty good good and again can't really say that's from the nmn it's actually kind of a common thing to happen to have a test where your liver enzymes may be high the other one that was 71 here is supposed to be under 63 dropped to normal levels into 46 which is nice to know um something that did go higher is this uh which i'm creatinine i think is how you say it and it's something with your kidneys it was high the first time and it also went a little bit higher. Uh, my doctor said it's not really much to worry about. Like I said, everything else pretty much stayed like right in line, didn't change much. They stayed within these uh, ratios for um, all of my tests. So wasn't really uh, showing anything. And even though, you know, the slimmer enzymes went down and stuff, can't say it was because of the NMN. I guess the only good thing with the test results is that nothing went out of whack to where it was like alarming and a concern.